Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> I am having an absolutely wonderful blessed day. Um, I just got back uh, on my uh, little birthday trip and before I say anything else though, I just want to say thank you to everybody for all the birthday wishes and, and everything. That was absolutely so sweet of you guys and I did. I had a blast today and even if I didn't, you know, go anywhere fancy or anything like that, I'm not about that. I'm all about just plain old uh, country road or, uh, well, in this case, it wasn't a country. Well, it was a country road, but it was paved. <laughs> I like dirt roads better myself on these little road trips, but I did. I had a good time. I ended up going and getting, um, well, actually, I changed my mind on one of them, but the other one, I did get what I was looking for, but then... Anyhow, I'll, uh, I think what I'm going to do is show you, I'm calling it my birthday yarn, on the uh, Whip Wednesday. Because I'm going to actually try to do a Whip Wednesday right after this, since I got home in time. But I am tired. Because <laughs> I was going full board, and just excited to get away from the house. And, you know, just go and just do something fun. And, you know, you know like look at yarn. <laughs> but anyway, so... Anyhow, I just want to say thank you again to all the blessings. Oh, <laughs> I thought that I couldn't figure out what that was on there. I thought it was an animal, but nah, it's just a pile of uh, pine needles. But anyway, thank you again for all the birthday blessings, and I did. I had a really good time. But anyway, I'm going to get up here and show you how the square turned out for the uh, ice cream blanket. And it's turning out really pretty, but before I get started... I might have to pause you because hubby doesn't know I'm doing a video. He went in the house and I started, I was heading to the shop to let him know, hey, I'm going to be doing a video. So he might come out looking for me. He don't know I'm back here right now. <laughs> and you're probably going to hear my neighbors over there. I think they're doing something. It's, sometimes it's really loud. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> it sounds like rocks or something. And, uh, and then, of course, all my critters I got running around. So, but anyhow, um. Uh, the square it turned out so pretty i've got all my stuff sitting over here i actually brought me an extra chair this time to put all my stuff over there <laughs> but anyway now what this is for those of you that are new because i do have a, a few new yarny friends up here that um i am making a scrappy ice cream granny square blanket <laughs> And I'm making it to put in my craft room across this uh, ugly office chair that I forgot to insert a picture of. <laughs> I will one of these days. It's like I forgot to insert a picture of those uh, my chickens that day. But anyway, um, I'm wanting to cover that chair because it's pretty rough. And uh, I just thought it would be really cool to put a blanket across it in a, an ice cream thing. Because I you know, would like to be able to decorate the wall next summer, Lord willing, you know an ice cream theme and then uh, and then you know I'm wanting to do it in different kind of themes and stuff and so right now I'm, I really would like to go in there and do like a fall scene and so but I'm gonna finish this blanket first so anyway uh, I want to do that and put it across that chair well um, I ended up finding a pattern um, online for free and it's by Sorella and it's actually a bake shop um, blanket and there was an ice cream cone on it but i absolutely loved when i seen it and it looked really um, a clean way of doing an applique onto a square without all that sewing in and so i watched the video and how she done it and it was kind of confusing for me because you know i mentioned before that i like patterns that tell you exactly how many stitches you know are in the row and you know where to put the stitch and everything like that but you just have to, you know, me personally, I'm a visual person, so I had to watch that video in order to understand what the pattern was saying. Because she does have a free pattern, written pattern, on her blog. And I think there's one for the whole blanket if you want to go check it out. Because it is, it's cute. And so, anyway, I ended up making, uh, right now I'm on row four. Yeah, row four. I'm going, uh, am I on four or five? Five. I think it's five guys <laughs> I uh, I'm going four across and five down that's right because I'm not wanting to make a great old big one and so anyhow I ended up putting that one row on and so now it's on the last one and this is how 
it turned out so far. Now what I'm doing, for those of you that uh, are uh, new, I'm having hubby go into my craft room and picking out some scrap yarn, two different uh, types, which when I say types, I mean one's variegated and one is uh, solid, because I'm wanting to do every other square with a solid and then the other one with a variegated background, so I got to have at least a say-so on that. <laughs> And so he goes in there and he picks out, you know, the scrap yarn. He puts it in this and it's a surprise to all of us because, you know, we all love surprises. And, and it's a lot of fun and I enjoy it. So here's how the square turned out. And I think it turned out really pretty. And I mentioned yesterday, I was, I think in my mind, I was thinking this was the background and this was the ice cream, but I had it backwards. Uh, because I may, I, I mentioned I hope it don't get lost and I don't think it did now if it would I think if this I don't know if it would have got lost even if this would have been the ice cream I don't know but I think it turned out really pretty and I loved how it, it goes with that like that and um, and I ended up doing a green cherry and I just went with a lighter color oh yarn there now that's that buff red heart super saver and this is that red heart super saver that ombre multi-purple it's the one i used to make that bear because if you look close enough you can almost see how it almost started turning right there a little lighter i was looking at it as i was working and i thought oh boy <laughs> but it didn't because i thought oh we'll have variegated backgrounds but anyhow um that's what i used there is that's what that is that purple and then this is that Red Heart Super Saver uh, speckled yarn that they just came out with and Mainstay Multi-Purple. And I'm using a 5 millimeter hook. I'm sure I forgot to mention that. But I think it turned out so pretty. And so now, and yeah, here's what the back looks like. I forgot to mention that I have been hot gluing. <laughs> I think last night, though, I actually sold the uh, ice cream to the cone because I didn't want to get up. <laughs> And so I, I wanted to actually get that part done. I think the only thing I ended up, oh, there's my pinky. The only thing I ended up, I'll kind of balk her out in case she decides to uh, take a bathroom break, <laughs> break back there. Um, I ended up hot gluing the uh, cherry on this morning and the bottom of it uh, this morning too. I feel like I'm way back here. I was trying to I was trying to keep the sun from being in my face. Yeah, I don't know where she went. I think she's somewhere back there. Let me let me toss that in there. And let me see if I can move my chair up without falling over. Because let me tell you, these pine needles, they're soft. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's better. I just feel like I'll just scoot it back. Now, that made a lot of sense, didn't it, guys? I just scooted up, and then I scoot y'all back. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to blame that on the heat outside, okay? But anyway, I hot glued the cherry on and this down here at the bottom because she doesn't do anything with, you know, hooking it to this. And there for a while, I was crocheting it down. Whenever I do the double crochet, I'd catch the back loop, but then I got tired of doing that. Or sometimes it just wouldn't line up, to be honest. And then I uh, hot glued it down because I don't care. It's all, it's just for me. And then... Look at there, one of my ends is kind of coming out there. I'll have to, I didn't hide it very well, did I? But anyway, uh, that's how the back looks. And now I really like how clean it looked because I've never sewed. I mean, what I'm saying is I would like to learn how to sew a back onto the ones that's got like the safety eyes and some of the blankets because it's just for me. And uh, it's not going to be for a baby or anything like that. But I would just like to have one where they have the safety eyes and I didn't have to worry about weaving in all those ends. Whenever I find a cute one like that. And I need to learn. I need to look. Take time out and look. But I really um, like this one because you don't have to sew this on. But what you do, where I got confused with it, is you, have, you, know, you start at the cinch circle, the middle one the stitch all the way up you line it up with that and that's where you're going to have one of your cluster stitch go but you actually start off making the granny square over here because you're going to make the granny square off of the ice cream 
and then skip three stitches and start in the fourth one but sometimes you have to kind of fudge a little bit like I think I did last night I skipped three to make it line up right <laughs> it doesn't matter because it all works out right and so but anyway that's how it turned out and I think it turned out really pretty <laughs> I thought Sly was going to come down here a while ago he actually landed on the picnic table and uh, I thought maybe it would just be better down here because of the way the sun was hitting it but I use my pinky still sounds and what's so funny whenever I sit in my recliner at night before I upload my video I always go back and uh listen to my video again and I really I don't normally edit but sometimes I'm I might edit something out like in case she wants to do something back there <laughs> but um like a bathroom break or something I uh, will put my little buds in so it don't disturb hubby if he's watching something well his phone or whatever and because we don't have tv we just want to use our phone I'll have those earbuds in and I'll be sitting in my recliner and this is at night and all of a sudden I'll hear all this noise I'll hear the chicken you know crowing I'm like looking around thinking oh my gosh I mean it startles me every time because I'm like wow I gotta remember I recorded this earlier <laughs> that sounds on here not outside right now so yeah it's funny anyhow I done forgot everything I was saying before all that <laughs> so that's how it turned out and I am having so much fun doing this. I won't just lay that there. Oh, yeah, Sly, he's up there somewhere. He's probably mad at me. It'll be all right. <laughs> once that sun, once I get out of here soon enough to where that sun's not on that picnic table, then he'll be in the videos, I'm sure. It, I mean, he can come down here and be in them now. But the problem is he wants to lay right here, and it blocks it because it's just a little round table. <laughs> but anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to, see what in the, what's in the bag one is a skein and one of them is a ball so i'm anxious and the next one's going to be a variegated background in a solid color ice cream cone <laughs> okay let me see i'm gonna pull this out and see if we can do this without showing everything okay I hope I'm not pulling the other way out. If I am, I guess I am, and I am, ain't I? Well, I haven't seen it yet, but y'all might have just saw a peek of it. <laughs> but anyway, what color did he put in there, guys? Oh, this is that um, mint. Well, I say mint. I think Red Heart Super Saver has got one that's called mint that looks almost like, like this. But this is that anti-peel um, mainstay. They call it green, but it don't look green to me. I mean, it's a green, but it's not the kind of green like I, I don't know, in my mind. But it is beautiful green, and we have not used this yet. So I'm excited. Mint? Uh, at least I'm saying we don't. I don't have the other blanket with me because I'm going to wait to show it after I get everything done. But I don't think we have. But anyway, I think this turn going to be so pretty as the ice cream, mint ice cream. All right, let's see if we can set that there out of rolling. All right, my neighbor's dogs are going crazy. Now Sonny's going to chime in. <laughs> All right, what color did he put in there for us to do for the background? See, I done forgot, guys. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Yep. Now that's going to be really pretty up there. So, yeah, that's... um. That's that papaya. I know I've used this because I remember saying it, <laughs> saying that word, papaya. And uh, I mentioned before, I, it's uh, super safe for pulling. I like to get me another skein of that at uh, Walmart. It's really pretty. I like the way it works up. So, that's going to be really pretty there up against this one with this uh, speckled yarn around it. Oh, I'm excited to do it. But anyway, I guess I'll put it back in here before I drop it on the ground. So I'll, uh, I say I'll go in there tonight and do it. I'm wanting to, but I'm also wanting to do two, two other things. I'm not that fast. I'm not fast. I like just to take my time and enjoy it. And so, but there are a couple of other things I'd like to at least. One of them I'm really wanting to try, but I'll talk about that one in my next video. 
because I'm going to try not to make this one too long since I'll be making another one right after this, my whip Wednesday, which I made it in time to be able to do one. I was, I had thought about taking it with me and stopping at um, that park that I ended up not going to, um, but it was so hot where I was at. It was a little hotter than what it is here, and I thought, I'll just melt, because actually when I got home, I kind of started, I was sweating pretty good because I was busy trying to do everything, get everything taken care of, and you know, um, and everything, and I was just, sweat was just coming off my glasses. <laughs> But anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off here, but I'll have a link down below where you guys can go check out that pattern if you'd like to make you one, and it is exciting to know that some of y'all are going to be making one too. It is. I love that. You guys are so inspiring to me, and and I, I, do, I do. I appreciate each and every one of you, and thank you again for my birthday wishes. I did. I had an absolute blast today. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to hop off here and then I'm going to do another video right after this. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day.